Well, I'm down here planting new willows and one green alder cuttings. Just cuttings, nothing more than that. And in the process of doing so, I am trying to create an easy water method. One where once I have that rain barrel on the side of the shed actually hooked up, all I have to do is run a short length of hose down on top of this rock right here. Although right now we're starting actually on the alder, we can demonstrate. There are some Salix interior on that side of the rock, so the little bit that shoots past the rock is fine, but it slows it down enough that it's not um, doing erosion. Because I'm noticing I definitely lost all my willow cuttings during this drought. So what I've done is every approximately step, uh, like, um, that's a little bit more than shoulder width, so I guess that's like two and a half feet. Um, a little bit more than half a meter. Well, almost, almost a whole meter, in fact. Somewhere around the rounds, three quarters or something like that. But the idea here is that as the water runs off that rock, it's coming into this channel here. And we'll just put it on the real near side of the rock so you get the idea better. I've notched this out alongside the walkway, and then every place that I put a little cutting, there's a little etched spot going in to where that cutting is, so that all I have to do is let the hose trickle there, and the rest of it will just take care of itself. And the way that I figured this out isn't with any, like, equipment or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, was that on screen? Oh, I just dripped mud on the back of this camera. Sorry if you end up seeing that later. Um, just clearing debris out of the path, mulching where I planted the trees with it. and then you can see the water starts to run. And then also trying to make sure that these little cuts end up with a little bit of a lower spot right there to make sure that it pulls into there. Same thing again here, where see now it's down to here. And this is all very, um, like, it's done very much just by eye and by flow. And this is always how I've done my channels. It's just like run the water and see what it does, you know? And so, cause I moved the hose, it ended up actually um, needing to refill. This was all running pretty, pretty cleanly through until I moved that hose up a bit. So um, it's fine though. And then you can see this little spot here starting to trickle. And so if I want to speed it up a little, I just move a little bit of stuff. But in general, you can just kind of be patient. And this is the kind of thing that does need the occasional re-dredging. Um, so what we're doing is dredging the front edge of the path. And this makes this a little bit like a swale. In fact, it's, it's quite a lot like a swale when you think about it because of the fact that it is capturing the water and sinking it into the ground on this side rather than just letting it flow. And so now you can see, if I back up just a little, you can see the magic moment where this is now reaching the end I'm gonna ant off of the screen, hold on. <sighs> Go away, ant. Um, it's gonna start to actually enter this particular chamber right here, which has this willow cutting. Now these are all black willow cuttings except for the ones up by the rock. They've been in a cup in my kitchen for quite a while. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to put the next one. I've got all these trees down here. If any of them died, like this one. No, that one's still alive. Did literally nothing die? Wow, that would be impressive. Wow. Wow. I was thinking I'd just replace a dead tree 
tree, but um, that's not gonna be how this goes. Holy cow, that's, I mean, that's awesome. All the trees down here lived. So you're watching that fill up, but I can bring you down here to see that I'm gonna put a gap. Well, let's see, come on screen. Right here and dig in and I'm putting the smallest ones closest to the water but we've gotten to the point where everybody's a bigger one right now so there's only two more look at the roots on that isn't that awesome This is starting to fill up. And I'm gonna try and leave the garden huckleberry there. Because it's a native and a food plant, but a very highly controversial one, so do your research before noshing on it because uh, a whole lot of people think it's poisonous, so you know. I'm not necessarily recommending it. I'm just not killing it. <laughs> so as this one fills up, I can start to divert some of this resource a good bit more downstream again. Alongside the rocks that tell people not to step on my plants. <laughs> ready because I'm clearing out more space down to your left. So, like this. And you can tell I'm just eyeballing it. Like this is where I want the water to go and you get a decent sense of what level is and then the water tells you. 